Welcome back to Dang Media TV. Four years later, American billionaire and philanthropist Magnet S. Johnson has witnessed the horrors of a brutal regime in the fictional Central Asian country of Turkestan, made a fortune inventing neodymium magnets, and faked his own death to create an anonymous private special agent team to destroy the secret government organization in the world, which neither one nor the other can hunt. They also want to make it their mission to hunt criminals and terrorists. The team leader is known as Number One. He recruited five other people to shed their past and join his task force, each with a numbered nickname similar to his own. Number Two, Technical Spy, Kill Three. Four athletes and a thief, five doctors. Sixth, The Manager. They call themselves Team Ghosts. On their first mission in Florence, Italy, the team interrogated the lawyers of four top generals from Turkestan for information on the generals before they drove through the city in a fluorescent green Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglia when it was caught by the mafia and the Italian police in hot pursuit. Six people died during the escape. When ordered not to rescue his team in Afghanistan a few days later, Brian, a guilty ex-Delta Force sniper, was recruited as a survivor. He was convinced to fake suicide and his name was changed to Seven. One of them planned a coup that would overthrow the government of Turkish dictator Rufak Alamov and convert Alamov's imprisoned his brother Murad into a staunch adherent of the country's new religion. It was revealed that the CIA spy number two had previously reluctantly arrested Murad and sent him back to Rawash. Ghost kills General Rovic in Las Vegas, discovers Murat's location, and rescues Murad from a cabin in Hong Kong. During the evacuation, one of Rovish's men grabbed his limbs and began to beat him severely. Number 7 is reluctant to accept the concept of the mission first, but adheres to his personal philosophy and does not let his teammates to fall behind. 7 ignores one person's objections and tries to save 4. Number 7 then convinced all but one to reveal their real names. In Turkestan, someone hatched their plan to hijack state television while Rovish was giving a public address to the nation, giving Murat the platform he needed to spread his message of democracy. Murat's impromptu speech inspired a popular uprising, and a strategic breakthrough in the city. Forced Rovas to evacuate to his private yacht. The ghosts attack the yachts, and one of them activates a magnetic pulse invention to disable the guards. With the yacht lying motionless at sea and Fur's life in danger again, the people choose to save Fur rather than capture Rovas. Rovic escapes in a helicopter and is led by Murat and the ghosts, leaving him helpless in a refugee camp where he is beaten to death by an angry mob. After the revolution, Murat became the new leader of Tujistan, and the ghosts went their separate ways until the next mission was decided. Two and three start a relationship. Four and five will work together, one and seven back to New York. Seven threw his rifle into a nearby river but kept the last bullet, and number one of them saw the woman he loved playing with her young son, also his child, in the distance and reunited with them.